Hi and welcome back to Minecraft 1.7.10 This is episode 5 and we were going to look because we've got um, 25 units of iron we were going to look at making um, I think it's grout yeah so you can see that we need sand gravel and clay okay now if I'm looking and remembering correctly in our books um, number one I believe I think it's number one Yeah, grout, we need seared bricks, you see, because what you need is to make all of these, okay. So, we're going to go and have a look for, um, see what we've got. So, I'm just going to repair my tools. Go and have a look at this as well. This is done. See now this is monster jerky. So not sure what it does. It does it does turn into food for us. So you know we'll we'll keep it on us. And now where did we see gravel? Yes, we're going to have to go along the river system, which is the garden. So look, you can see that those are growing quite well. We've got three all interlocked in there, so it's going to be a bit of a problem. <laughs> oh, we've got a melon come, so that's good. which is garden it's coming on nice now what I didn't think I was bringing that bringing that stone with us because we could have used it to go down here we're gonna go and follow the candles there's a cow we don't want the cow the cow's fine for now and I didn't want to drop down there either. But okay, this did bring us to uh, where we did want to come. Um, this is sand, so that's not going to be too much of a problem. Dirt. Now finding clay okay here we go is oh no that's sand that's a bummer sand sand okay here, here we go for clay now we've got to watch our breath on this okay now we do need quite a lot of clay for this time so we've got to be careful of there yeah we do need gravel I might actually think we're going back to sleep Go. 
Okay, we don't need dirt. Kill the zombie. <coughs> no, I'm not too worried about it at the moment. To be honest, we're going to go back and sleep, okay? Because I can't concentrate really with these monsters um, coming um, to get us while we're trying to uh, search for um, sand and clay and stuff like that because it's it's just not not um, worth risking because you can see the damage that they do and it's really not worth taking that damage when we've got a bed and then all we got to really do is just go to sleep Let's go to sleep. Let's hang up um, the beef jerky. Now you have to click on the actual drying rack. You can't click on the mud beneath it. Now, did we come this way? No, we went the garden way, didn't we? <sighs> I should label my doors. Right, so, we go down here. Laying here. No. Right, so we are around the um, bits and pieces here. Not going to look for do sand yet because really we do need the clay first. So that's what we're going to be looking for. Again, watching our breath. Is that a nice big clay? Yes. And up we go. Just don't forget we don't repair. We don't have all our health. Let's go to our invent to our inventory I want at least two lots of 64 so I'm going to take all of this clay the 
mattock is quicker than the shovel underwater by the way okay so that's all of the clay got to be all of the, all of the clay at least So let's see how much we've got. So yeah, that should be enough clay. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to want sand. And of course sand is easy enough to come by. But it takes longer to dig with the mat up. So, try and dig it from above. For about 64 blocks, possibly a bit more, but sand you can always find quite easily. We want the gravel as well. We'll dig all these out. See how much this monster jerky gives us. Alright, gives us about one and a half. So that's not too bad. Right, let's get the massive going. So we've got our first batch of there but I'm not going to bother with that clay because I think I've got enough but I do want to get more sand and more gravel obviously we have about the same amount of stuff we will know then just how much we need Don't forget you get flint from gravel when you dig it. And I'll be 
obviously flint is good for um, arrows and other nice useful stuff. I think we can upgrade our tools with um, flint as well. Let's get this. Okay. Nearly there with the sand. So that's all the sand done. See what we need on gravel. We need a, quite a bit on gravel. Okay, so that's our um, tool broke. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go back. <coughs> we'll be back here um, shortly, and uh, we'll make a spade. A spade, for some reason, is quicker to dig for gravel than um, um, a mattock is. Sleep as well. <coughs> and you see, we've got more of our jerky. Okay, so we need for a spade, a stick, oh, I've got a stick, but I haven't got a stick. We'll have some sticks in a minute. <laughs> Shovel head. Okay. And oh, okay. So it's not a stick. I wonder what it is. 
Need to have tool rod. Okay, we'll, we'll try that one. I'm sure it was a stick. a normal shovel okay we'll find out later on why we can't um, make um, the tinker's contract shovel Let's go back and get our um, gravel. Do need to sort this path out. I think that's going to be one of the projects that we got to do, so we can get to this dungeon quite easily. Right. So where are we on the gravel? Okay. So here's the gravel. See how much quicker it is. Excuse me. some nice clay patches over here nice gravel bed
Okay, so we got 64. Our first batch of 64. Okay. for the forge but I do know that we needed more than 64 so we get two lots of 64 that will give us what um, I'm not I'm not that good at math so I think that's 326 um, something like that Right, so we got everything that we need now. So we're going to go back off to the um, to our um, little house. Remembering to always have the sword at the ready. think we need to seriously think about working on this path. just in time look because the sun's setting so that was absolutely perfect timing well, I'm just going to pause the game here in a minute guys So what we're going to need to uh, do now is get our clay, get our sand and get our um, gravel and we get 64. Now we are going to turn all of this into um, grout. So you can see that we've got quite a few there. Uh, we're going to put 64 on to cook now okay and we've got the coal and what I'm going to do is because I've got extra uh, cobblestone is we're going to actually build um, one, two more <coughs> ok 
Okay. So we have three in there. Now obviously we haven't got all the wood that we uh, require. All the coal, sorry, that we require. But, y you know, I'm not worried about that. It's just this, you know. Getting this done as quickly as possible. So while that's cooking... Right, okay, now I do know for a fact that we need lava for this. So, um, where's our iron ore? So, I'm going to have to take three iron because we need to have that smelted. Okay, just going to check that I haven't got one. And I haven't. And I'm going to take the grout out of there. I'll put that in there. Okay. Because we need a bucket. Okay. I'm not sure if we can make a clay bucket. Let's just see if we can. If we can. We've just wasted three iron. No, we can't. Right, okay. So, requiring hardware. So we do get an achievement for it as well. So this go, goes in the grout there. Grout in there. Grout in there. Okay. Um, next thing to do because it's dark. Or we'll sleep. Now, <clears throat> gonna make our bucket. And we are now going to go and get a bucket of lava after I've fed. This way, I believe. Was it this way or was it out of mines? No, it was out of mines, weren't it? So we need to find our mine staircase. So I believe it's not this way. It's this way okay so we don't go down the right way right okay so all we need is like I said one bucket of lava we've got to remember which way to go of course because of the amount of tunnels that we've dug. And this is the dead end. <clears throat> is it this way? Yes, I believe it may be. Yeah, I think it's on the sand side. Now with lava, you have to be really, really careful because obviously if you fall in it, you're gonna burn and die. But not only are you gonna burn and die, you're also gonna burn, die, and lose everything that you've got 
on you. So we want to be very careful here. Can we get this? Yes, we got the seed. Okay. So now we're going to go back. hopefully our grout has cooked now obviously all of it won't be cooked because we didn't have enough coal so I we have coal here I'm going to dig it out It's the last little bit over here that I know of. Right and let's go back up and see how Grout is doing. on there Okay, so that's going to be enough for um, us to get started on. Okay, so <clears throat> to make the forge, you're going to need um, some seared bricks, smelt recreate. Okay, so you can see that I took one block of 64. Yeah, now I haven't got a place for the smelter. So I think since we come out here a lot, in actual fact, no, I don't want it here. I want it where my tools are going to be. So let's have a look, see what we got. Um, Waste-wise. Okay, so we'll take that. Okay, so this is the tools. I'm going to put the um, smeltery here. Okay, but I want to make sure that we put it in the right place because it can be an awful pain to dig up if you put it in the wrong place. So our walkway around the house is going to be three blocks wide. That, that's my standard path width. Now, 
because we've got a nice opening here this is going to be absolutely gorgeous for us because what we can do now is say right that's the path oh, what, not there. that's our path so we come here now this here is going to be the start of our forge but it needs to um, go out one so we make our bricks so we've got 32 seared bricks so you go one like that that that's the first outside okay if I remember it's a three by three square now obviously you don't have to do it like this because I, I just like having I'm just yeah it's nice to have a large forge but you, you've got to be able to be able to look after it and build it and stuff like that so I'm just going to shove this along here Okay. So what it is, you've got one oh, didn't want that one there. So you've got let me see, can I remember? I'm sure it's a uh, three by three configuration one in the middle there sure that's the configuration you fill the blocks in there melting okay so that's it that that's that's the configuration you need okay so what we need to do is make the parts so we don't need no more seed brick blocks but we do need more bricks So we need these. Which is the smelt drain. No, not the casting channel. Okay. this dirt sorted out so we need to take this one out put the smelt we drain in whoops wrong way okay you want to be horrible to me today Right, 
right now you know if you've got this facing on the outside then you've got it wrong okay so now we need three bricks so you need to see the facet okay uh, we need some more bricks definitely have got enough for uh, what we need now we need a casting table yeah. no, I don't need one of those now the casting table we're gonna put in the dirt okay underneath there that that's where we want it that's what we want doing okay now we need to make this and this um, item so let's go and see what what it is that we need all right so we need a seared tank and we need a smell treat controller okay so let's have a look Smeltery controller, so that's bricks all in all in a circle. That's one of those. Okay. <coughs> and the final one is the seared tank. I believe we need a piece of glass for that yes we need a piece of glass so okay. have we got a piece of sand on us yes we have put that into the um, furnace shouldn't take too long to melt <laughs> there we go Now you know when you've got it working right because you get that okay you get the flames all right if you haven't got the flames you haven't got it right now because we've got more bricks we can build a second layer okay so this when you click on it gives us a nice good block okay now what we need to do is put the lava in which you just right click on the seared tank and it will go in there and you don't want to do that and you can see we've got a bit of fuel in there okay so you do need lava to fuel this but lava is not going to be too much of a problem to find once we've got everything smelted we're now going to go and get our iron and remember we've got 22 blocks yeah and before we can actually smelt the iron I have forgotten something and I don't want to do the iron yet um, is look at the book look at the recipes and we need to make aluminium brass so we need three aluminium and one copper okay now I'm going to show you why we need that um, in a minute because we want one copper and three aluminium okay and what you need to do 
is put one brick in the tray okay just one brick and then what you do is you put in your aluminium hi guys and welcome back um, unfortunately even though that we've built our forge correctly and we've got the smelter in the forge and everything here every time we go to put in um, some ore it crashes the game so unfortunately we can't use it even though it's been built correctly uh, because I don't know why it's been caused like that so what I'm going to have to say is for this episode I'm going to end it here I'm going to read the crash report over the weekend and hopefully get back to to you and let you know why it's crashed because um, it shouldn't be and we will take it from there um, so if we can't get it to work for whatever reason we will still go into wood tree because we built it to make make it get more ore for us but we'll also say right okay that's enough we are not going to do um, any more with it because it's just um, corrupt which will be a bit of a shame but thank you very much for watching I hope you had fun and this is HMK signing off until next time when we will look at trying to find out what to use instead of the um, smell tree so we can get more ore okay so have fun stay safe and see you next time bye for now